It's the Hungarian Grand Prix. 70 laps to come around the Hungaro ring. And it's lights out, and away we go. And it's a tentative start for everyone. It's a good start for Hamilton. It's a good start for Alonso. And Gasly could be under pressure soon. Tremendous start, just what Max Verstappen needed. Up into P4, and Alonso then threw on Gasly. And Max Verstappen goes around the outside, looking for third place. But Lewis Hamilton very clearly out front. He'll take some beating from there. Hearing Valtteri Bottas may well have jumped the start. Uh, it, despite not being in a particularly good position there. Maybe he went forward, stopped, and then had to go yeah. again. We've seen that happen before, haven't we? Sebastian Vettel in uh, Japan last year, of course. But it's Hamilton who leads here. Max on the inside, he can see them all darting around outside. Quite cautious there from him, understandably, but he is just where you need to be in the corner. Oh, oh dear, dear. That's, uh... that is Max Verstappen. Valtteri's uh, driving massively off the pace. I agree, it's a absolute. That shouldn't be allowed, what he does. Right, so it, the... It's not allowed, it's absolutely not allowed under the regulations, you can't do that. To try and get past him, he's on the inside. Thinks, do I need to go around the outside on this occasion? Can I do the old switcheroo and get a better exit out of the first corner? Riding on board as he tries to make a move past Perez, gets onto the grass, and that I think is where he lost his front wing. It just got a bit too bumpy, and he did very well to keep out of everyone's way. Valtteri Bottas coming into the pits first. And I think this should be a, a, an easy undercut, really, for Valtteri Bottas. What happened to Sebastian Vettel making his way then towards the stadium section? Oh, oh dear. Sebastian Vettel also pitting and uh, just seeing if he's going to be delayed. He is. Oh, it's an awful stop for Sebastian Vettel. Valtteri Bottas has limbered up. And limbered up nicely. It maybe took him a while to get going in go. this race, but he's, uh, he's now showing his skills. But look, is this a double overtake for Valtteri Bottas? Very well, much so. Oh, oh no. Not no. quite. It might not even be one overtake for Valtteri Bottas. He got on the dusty part of the track, and it didn't seem to do him any good. Gosh. Oh, Pierre Gasly. He's turned in, looks like quite late into the corner. And Akara said, I can't do that. Which is about as subtle as I think oh, they Gasly could do wide. that. Gasly's gone very wide there.
It's the Red Bull and Max Verstappen that's out. Gasly also out. Tangles with the Alfa Romeo. And you get the feeling he was a bit of a passenger and couldn't do much to avoid hitting the Red Bull. This is what you get with this Honestly. Down goes the inside. Goes Max Verstappen. And he's trying to get this move done, but he can't quite make it cleanly into turn one. It's better this time around for Valtteri Bottas. Yeah, Verstappen straight in, in front of me. It's too good an opportunity to miss, especially as these tyres seem to be going off quite quickly. Sergio Perez coming in for another stop. And into the pit lane comes Lewis Hamilton, the race leader. Lewis Hamilton actually built a nice gap to get comfortably out without having to do anything special in the pits. It was a steady stop. Crucially, Verstappen is now within DRS range of Lewis Hamilton if he can complete the lap with the pace he's going at the moment. Hamilton's just taken the fastest lap off Perez. And we look to see what Sergio Perez is doing. He's going for that fastest lap. Oh, and if qualifying was bad, this is epically bad for Sergio Perez. Just a few more corners to go for Lewis Hamilton. As he now sees the chequered flag in the distance, powers down the main straight and comes home to win the Hungarian Grand Prix. Get in there, Lewis. It's been a while. What an amazing session. Let's go. Crossing the line in second place, Fernando Alonso back on the podium in Formula One. Welcome back, Fernando. That is a brilliant result for him and for the Alpine team. Perez gets a bit squeezed. Oh, so close to running into the back of his teammate. Max Verstappen had a lockup. He would have been terrified as he was heading towards the back of the sister Red Bull there. I, I think it was just right a now. misunderstanding. I think it was a misunderstanding, frankly. It's time to head to a summer break. Put our feet up, recharge batteries and come back ready for action at Spa. At Ferrari were hoping to make inroads into Red Bull's advantage today. It didn't happen. They rather checked out. Red Bull maxed out.